Hello students. Today I will tell you about the classification of coordinates. I am Dr. Vipin Chakrabarti from Edison Government Physical Institute. You will see here that there are some specific characters of the coordinates. Number one is dorsal tubular nerve cord. That dorsal tubular nerve cord is derived from the ectoderm and that rolls into a hollow tube during the development process. In caudates, <laughs> it is located dorsally to the notochord and this dorsal tubular nerve cord it modified in the form of spinal cord in vertebrates but it will persist in the notochordates. On the other hand, there are some vertebral columns. This notochord, this notochord modified in the form of vertebral columns in vertebrates, but in chordates it persists as notochords. In contrast to this, there are here is the one word is a protostome, and the another word is deuterostome. Protostomes means those in which the blastopore is changes into a mouth at first. But in deuterostomes, blastopore changes into anus at first, then the mouth will develop. In case of the protostomes, what you will see here, that is characterized by a solid nerve cord, which is basically located in ventral site or lateral to the gut. But in caudates, you will see that the part of the nervous system is located in the dorsal site. This is the spinal cord located in the dorsal side, inside to the notochord, inside to the vertebral columns. And in vertebrates also, this neural tube is develops into two parts. That is the part of central nervous system, that is one brain and then is the spinal cord. And these both part of the brain, as, as well as the spinal cord, they make up the central nervous system. Prone to the central nervous system, Central nervous system means from to this brain area, there are a certain set of the nerves are rises, and these are known as peripheral nerves. Including these peripheral nerves, the cranial nerves also that are coming outside to the brain as well as the spinal cord. So these nerves, these peripheral nerves make up the peripheral nervous system. Now the pharyngeal gill sits. Third characteristic feature is pharyngeal gill sits that are the openings in the pharynx. Pharynx is a junction of five tubes. It is a region just behind, posterior to our mouth and it extend to outside environments. As well as you will see here that in some organisms which are aquatic in nature, whose habitat is aquatic, their, these pharyngeal gill sits allow the entry as well as the exit of the water from the mouth during the feeding process. For more study, you should go to this book. This book is freely open, freely open, this biology to an open strict biology. You can, for more study, you can go to this book and read to this book. In case of some invertebrates, you will see here that the pharynx slits, they are working as a filter feeding mechanisms. They act as a filter. They filter out the food as well as the water which enters to the mouth. And another feature is that endostyle. That is a strip of what is endostyle? So endostyle is a tissue that is present in the floor of pharynx. It is a ciliated mucus producing tissue. What is endostyle? So endostyle is a ciliated mucus producing tissue present in the floor of pharynx. Sometimes these food, food particles are trapped in the mucus and they move along the endostyle towards the gut. These endostyles are produces some biochemicals. These biochemicals are similar to the thyroid hormones. Basically these, these biochemicals are homologous to the thyroid glands in vertebrates. That means they produce sometimes of the chemicals. They are structured. They are structurally they are similar to the 
sexual developments or embryonic developments is similar to the thyroid cells. In vertebrate feces, the pharyngeal slits are modified in the gill into gill supports, but in jaws feces, the jaw supports in tetrapods such as we land vertebrates, the slits are highly modified into components of the ear, tonsils, and thymus gland. In tetrapod, tetrapod means here is the amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. These pharyngeal slits are modified into the component of ear, tonsils, and thymus gland. But in other vertebrates, these pharyngeal arcades are derived from the three germ layers. The three germ layers means ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderms, which gives rise to the oral zoos from the first pharyngeal arc with the second arch becoming the hyoid and jaw support. And another feature is that the post anal tail is also that is present in the posterior elongation part of the body, which is beyond to the anus. This con tail contains skeletal elements and muscles. 